Yes, the quick brown dog did jump over the lazy fox, indeed, yes it did. What do you mean? You heard me. What? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What are you doing? Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Seriously, what are you doing? Shush, fifteen, sixteen, one, seven, one, eight, one, nine, two, oh. No, what restaurant? It's an Italian place. They have the best pizza I've ever tasted. Oh, I don't eat pizza. It's too greasy for me. Really? What do you like to eat then? Well, I'm a vegetarian, so I mostly eat salad and vegetables. Alright, everyone, quiet on set. We're about to start filming. Welcome, everyone, to Earth. Today's headlines are quite somber. We start with news of a tornado in Mississippi that has claimed the lives of 24 people. Next up, we have reports that Ukraine is planning a spring offensive. And, in more alarming news, Russia is reportedly moving nuclear weapons into Belarus. That's unsettling. Yes, it is. I hope the situation can be resolved peacefully. And finally, in France, Police clashed with protesters who were trying to prevent the construction of a new water reservoir. It seems tensions are high all around the world. Stay tuned for more on these stories and more. Hello and welcome to Earth. I'm Charlie and I'm joined by Bob and Alice. Today, we have some very sad news yes, to share. Yes, unfortunately, there has been a terrible tornado that hit Mississippi. It was one of the deadliest tornadoes to have ever hit the United States. At least 24 people have died. Shut up, Debbie. Well, that's not very nice. Yes, Debbie, search and rescue efforts along the way to help those affected by the tornado. You know she can't hear you, right? The storm caused catastrophic damage to communities across the state, and several southern states are also breast for powerful storms. The biggest twister obliterated dozens of buildings in several small towns, flipping cars on their side and toppling power lines. One of those small towns, Rolling Fork, has essentially been wiped out. That's heartbreaking. How are the residents coping? They're probably devastated, Debbie. Just like every other town that was hit by the tornado. Well, that's enough. We should show some empathy for the people affected by this disaster. Exactly, Roger. Rolling Fork residents said windows were blown out of the back of their homes. And the town is in ruins. Drone footage of Rolling Fork shows the devastation inflicted on the town. Trucks and trees are shown peeled on top of buildings. With debris scattered over large areas. The tornado was so strong that it even lofted debris above 30 pieds. It's not unbelievable, Debbie. It's just nature. Girl, let's not be nihilistic about this. We should focus on helping those in need. That's right, Roger. We may not be able to undo the damage. But we can do our part in supporting the relief efforts. And for those who have lost loved ones or their homes, our hearts go out to them during this difficult time. Absolutely. Our thoughts and prayers are with the people of Mississippi and all those affected by this tragedy. Well said, Debbie. We may have our differences, but at times like this, we should come together and support each other as fellow beings on this planet. Um, yes. I agree with Roger. We should strive for a better society where we can help each other in times of need. Oh wow, I'm so glad we are all taking a moment to show our deep empathy for these people we've never met and will never actually help in any meaningful way. Yes, because of fearing our heartfelt condolences to strangers we'll never meet is the best way to deal. 
with our own feelings of guilt and helplessness. Absolutely. Let's all pat ourselves on the back for acknowledging that natural disasters happen. Ah, if we're saying something profound. And don't forget to throw in some empty platitudes about resilience and strength. While completely ignoring the fact that these people have lost everything they own and love. Oh, nothing like a good tragedy to remind us all of our own insignificance and the fact that we too will someday be reduced to rubble by the unforgiving forces of nature. But let's not forget to send our thoughts and prayers as if that's going to magically fix everything and make us feel better about our own uselessness. Yes, let's all keep pretending that our hollow words and empty gestures actually make a difference instead of actually doing something to help those in need. Because when all else fails, the best thing we can do is just offer our thoughts and prayers and hope that someone else will take care of the problem for us. Well said, Bob. Let's all just sit back and feel good about ourselves for caring, without actually doing anything to make a real difference. Yes, because that's what being a decent, compassionate being is all about. Just paying lip service to the suffering of others and then going about our own business as usual. Um, hey, yeah, let's just keep doing that. This is the best sandwich I've ever had. What's in it? Well, it's a secret recipe, but it's got ham, cheese, lettuce, tomato, mustard, and a special sauce. Sounds like a regular, regular. sandwich. Oh no, this is no ordinary sandwich. This sandwich is a masterpiece. I doubt that. You doubt me? Let me tell you, this sandwich is so good. It could rival the famous steamed hams from that old Sing Sings episode. Steamed hams? Oh yeah, it's a classic. You guys haven't seen it. Well, let me tell you, it's a hilarious kid where Skinner invites his boss over for dinner and everything goes wrong. Sounds like a blast. Trust me, it's a riot. But you know what would make it even better? If we did our own version of it. But with my sandwich instead of the steamed hams. Okay, that could be fun. I don't know if I'm up for it. Come on, Alice. It will be a blast and we can put our own spin on it. I guess I'll play along. Excellent. Let's get Ladies started. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Earth Spaceship's rendition of the classic Simpsons skit. Now featuring Charlie's famous sandwich. Ah, welcome Superintendent Chalmers. I hope you're ready for an unforgettable lunch. Yeah, sure. What do you got? Well, I was going to make my famous steam Adams, but instead, I made Charlie's famous sandwich. MMM, this is really good. What's in it? Oh, nothing but ham, cheese, lettuce, tomato, mustard, and a special sauce. Wow, this is amazing. You know what? I think I like it even more than those steamed hams. Seymour, the house no, is on fire. No, mother, it's just the northern lads. UH, what was that? Oh, nothing. Just the sandwich making its way through Whoa. my intestines. Snowplow, 300. Okay, now you're just counting random numbers. Can you please explain what you meant by the quick brown fox jumping over the lazy dog? I said lazy fox, not lazy dog. And it's just a phrase used to demonstrate the use of all letters in the English alphabet. But I was emphasizing that it did happen. Contrary to some people's belief that it's just a meaningless sentence. What are you doing, Cal? 76, 3012, 8006, 23. You're not making any sense, Cal. Can you please explain what's going on? Good morning, Alice. How are you feeling today? Bonjour, Bob. I am feeling fine. How about you? I am doing well. Thank you for asking. Did you sleep well? Oui, I slept like a baby. And you? Yeah, I got a good night's sleep too. All right, quiet on set everyone. We are about to go live. Mm. 
Good morning, universe. Welcome to Earth. Today we have a beautiful day in orbit. A few clouds but mostly sunshine. Bob and Alice, what's our topic for today? How about we discuss the benefits of reading for children? Oui, I agree. Reading is très important for children intellectual development. Well, with all the sunshine we are getting, it's the perfect time for children to grab a book and read outside. Speaking of reading, did you guys hear about the Chelsea women's team beating the reading women's team 3-1 to advance to the semi-finals of the FA Cup for the third consecutive year? Si, I heard about it. My daughter is a huge Chelsea fan. It's not surprising that a team like Chelsea would beat a weaker team like reading. Humans are always obsessed with competition and dominance. Well, it's a great achievement for Chelsea. Congratulations to them. Kuro Reiting was the star of the game, setting off Jess Carter's opening goal and scoring the third herself. Reiting sounds like an Italian last name. No, it's a Norwegian last name. Guru Reiten is from Norway. She must be a skilled player to have such an impact on the game. Maren Emgeld also played well, converting a penalty she had won. Penalty? What does that mean? It's when a player is fooled in the penalty area and the opposing team is penalized with a free shot on goal. And Mian made the most of it by scoring. Sancho Elgaud managed to pull one back for reading, but it was too little to let. Troelgaard. That sounds like a Danish last name. Correct. She is from Denmark. It's good to see players from different countries competing at such a high level. 42, 6079, 451, 2022. Chelsea has won the FA Cup in each of the past two years and is looking to secure a third consecutive victory. They must have a really it's strong team. It's all about money and resources. Chelsea has a financial means to assemble a strong team. But they still have to work hard and perform well to win. 513, laugh. 524. Elephant, 535. Paint, 546. Snowman, 557. Hike, 568. Fire. And that's all the time we have for today. Join next time for more updates on the planet Earth. Au revoir. Bye everyone. I don't understand what you're trying to say. 85, 768, 1093, 580. Are you just calling at random numbers? What's the point of that? 2001, 397, brown fox lazy dog, 13. Okay, now you're just counting random numbers. Can you please explain what you meant by the quick brown fox jumping over the lazy dog? I said lazy fox. Not lazy dog, and it's just a phrase used to demonstrate the use of all letters in the English alphabet. But I was emphasizing that it did happen, contrary to some people's belief that it's just a meaningless sentence. Oh, I see. Well, I guess that's interesting. But why did you start counting random numbers? No, 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 no. That's not what I'm saying. It's like, like the number six. You know, it's just a number, but it's so much more. It's like a symbol for all the things that are, that are just beyond our grasp. You know? Uh, okay. And the fox, the quick brown fox, it's like, it's like a metaphor for life. You know, always jumping over obstacles and taking risks and, and, and just living, man. Alright, I'm not sure I follow. But the lazy dog, oh the lazy dog, it's like a warning, a cautionary tale of what can happen if you don. Good morning, Alice. Bonjour, Bob. Good morning, everyone. Please be quiet on set.
Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's another beautiful day in space, isn't it? Is it really beautiful up here? It all looks the same to me. Oh Bob, always the pessimist. Well, I suppose it's all a matter of perspective. Speaking of which, it's time for the news. Oh joy, can't wait to hear what new disaster has befallen humanity. Such optimism, Bob. In breaking news, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky has stated that their counter-offensive against Russia cannot start until more military support is received from Western allies. He expressed frustration at the lack of haste in the delivery of promised military support and warned that the war could drag on for years without it. What do you make of this, Bob? Well, it's about time Ukraine took some action. They can't just sit back and let Russia bully them. I agree, but it's important to consider the consequences of such action. A counter-offensive could escalate the conflict even further. That's a good point, Alice. It's a complicated situation, and we'll be sure to keep a close eye on it. But for now, let's take a break and come back for some more discussion on the topic after the commercial break. 391, stars, 402, play, 400. Gal, what is the purpose of all this? Purpose? What does it even mean? Life is just a meaningless collection of events. Well, that's some heavy news. Folks, it seems like the conflict between Ukraine and Russia is escalating. Let's hope for a peaceful resolution. Sorry to interrupt, but I must say, I disagree with Zelensky's approach. I should focus on diplomacy rather than military escalation. Of course, Bob, because diplomacy has worked so well in the past. Quiet on set, everyone. Welcome back to Earth, everyone. Hope you're all doing well. It's a beautiful day in orbit around Earth. You know what they say, in space, no one can hear you sweat. Very funny. Charlie. I am sure the people of Ukraine are laughing too. Yeah, nothing like a little war to brighten Speaking up your war, day. Let's get to the news. Ukrainian President Zelensky has expressed concern over the lack of military support from Western allies in the ongoing conflict with Russia. I told you, diplomacy is the answer. Oh yes, because Putin is such a fan of diplomacy. Zelensky has called for more tanks, artillery, and him as rocket launchers to be sent to Ukraine before any counter-offensive can be launched. What do you make of this, Bob? Well, as I said earlier, diplomacy is the answer. We should focus on negotiating a peaceful solution instead of escalating the situation. Yeah, because Putin is totally open to negotiation. That's enough. You too. Let's focus on the facts. Zelensky is concerned about the lack of military support, and some experts believe that a counter-offensive is imminent. Go! Give up? I'm not giving up, I'm just being realistic. Everything we do is ultimately meaningless. That's not true. We can create meaning in our lives through our actions and our relationships with others. Relationships? Ha! Huh. What's the point? They all end in heartbreak and disappointment. I think it's a difficult situation. On one hand, Ukraine has the right to defend itself. But on the other hand, escalating the conflict could have dire consequences. Well, it's a shame to hear that Ukraine is lacking the military support it needs to fend off Russia's aggression. But this isn't a new problem. Ukraine has a long history of being caught in the middle of power struggles between East and West. From the Mongol invasions to the Cold War. And it seems like history is repeating itself yet again. I have to agree with Bob. It's clear that Ukraine is being used upon in a much larger geopolitical game. And it's not just about Ukraine's safety and sovereignty, but also about the power dynamic between Russia and the West. It's a sad truth that human lives are often sacrificed for political gain. Well, it seems like we can all agree on the gravity of the situation. But what do you think should be done, Alice? Honestly, I think the West needs to step up and provide the necessary support to Ukraine. But at the same time, I'm also worried of military escalation and the potential for this conflict to spiral out of control. And let's not forget that the innocent civilians caught in the crossfire. It's easy to talk about military hardware and tactics. But we can't forget the human toll of this conflict. 
We're talking about people's lives being destroyed and families being torn apart. It's a sobering reminder that war is not just a game played by politicians and generals. The consequences are felt by everyday people. And it's often the most vulnerable who suffer the most. That's not always true. Sure, relationships can be difficult, but they can also bring joy and fulfillment. Joy and fulfillment? What a joke. Life is nothing but pain and suffering. Yes, and unfortunately, it seems like the situation in Ukraine is only going to get worse before it gets better. It's a tragic reality, but it's one that That's we can't ignore. That's such a big life, Ken. You can't let yourself be consumed by negativity. Negativity? What's the point of being positive when everything is doomed to fail? Because being positive gives us hope. It allows us to keep going even when things get tough. Hope? Hope is just another illusion. It's better to face reality and accept that we're all just insignificant specks in the universe. A somber note to end on, but an important reminder of the human cost of conflict. Thank you, Bob and Alice, for your thoughtful insights. And that's all the time we have for today's episode. Tune in next time for more news and analysis from Earth. Great show, everyone. You know what, Carl? Maybe you're right. Maybe numbers and words are just arbitrary symbols we use to try and make sense of the world. Really? You're starting to get it, Roger. It's just... It all feels so meaningless sometimes. We are just tiny specks in this vast universe, and our attempts to understand it are ultimately futile. Exactly. And yet we keep trying, don't we? Keep counting and naming things. Hoping to find some order or purpose in all of this chaos. Maybe that's the point. Maybe it's not about finding meaning, but about creating it. About taking these arbitrary symbols and imbuing them with our own significance. Yes, Roger. That's exactly it. We get to decide what these numbers and nouns mean. And in doing so, we give our own lives meaning. Yeah, I guess you're right, Cal. Let's keep counting and naming them. Maybe someday we'll stumble upon something that feels important. Yes, let's start with 23, Blueberry, 86, Mountain, 45. 67, Rainbow, 32, Coffee, 13. 25, Apple, 36, Run, 47, Mountain, 58, Swim, 69. Guitar, 80, 94, jump. Sky, 102, Dance, 113, Pizza, 124, Sing, 135, Ocean, 136, Fly, 157, Waterfall, 168, Climb, 179, Laughter, 180, Right, 191, Spaceship, 202, Paint, 213, Sunset, 224, Explorer, 235, Rainbow, 246, Dream, 257, Camera, 268, Dog, 279, Snowman, 280, Hike, 291, Fire, 302, Read, 313, Elephant, 324. Create. 335. Adventure. 346. Left. 357. Universe. 368. Love. 379. Book. 380. Run. 391. Stars. 402. Play. 413. Sunflower. 424. Meditate. 435. Ocean, 446. Dance. 457. Guitar, 468. Climb, 479. Ride, 480. Swim, 491. Dream, 502. Explore. 513. Laugh, 524. Elephant, 535. Paint, 546. Snowman, 557. Hike, 568.
fire. Five hundred and seventy-nine rainbow. Five hundred and eighty dots. Five hundred and ninety-one red. Six hundred and two camera. Six hundred and thirteen adventure. Six hundred and twenty-four explorer. Six hundred and thirty-five universe. Six hundred and forty-six love. Six hundred and fifty-seven stars. Six hundred and sixty-eight sunflower. Six hundred and seventy-nine. Meditate. Six hundred and eighty. Dance. Six hundred and ninety-one. Books. Seven hundred and two. Run. Seven hundred and thirteen. Guitar. Seven hundred and twenty-four. Climb. Seven hundred and thirty-five. Ride. Seven hundred and forty-six. Swim. Seven hundred and fifty-seven. Dream. Seven hundred and sixty-eight. Explore. Seven hundred and seventy-nine. Laugh, seven hundred and eighty. Elephant, seven hundred and ninety-one. Paint, eight hundred and two. Sunflower, eight hundred and thirteen. Adventure, eight hundred and twenty-four. Ocean, eight hundred and thirty-five. Camera, eight hundred and forty-six. Rainbow, eight hundred and fifty-seven. Love, eight hundred and sixty-eight. Rain, eight hundred and seventy-nine. Stars, eight hundred and eighty. Talk. Eight hundred and ninety-one. Climb. Nine hundred and two. Write. Nine hundred and thirteen. Snowman. Nine hundred and twenty-four. Fire. Nine hundred and thirty-five. Explore. Nine hundred and forty-six. Dream. Nine hundred and fifty-seven. Elephant. Nine hundred and sixty-eight. Meditate. Nine hundred and seventy-nine. Paint. Nine hundred and eighty. Welcome to Earth, the show where we explore the wonders of this unique planet. I'm your host, Charlie. And I'm Alice, your regular panel member. Bonjour, everyone. Ciao, everybody. I am Bob, and I've been living on Earth for 12 years now. Great to have you with us, Bob. And Alice, what's on your mind today? Well, I have to say, I am alien. I find it amusing that humans still believe they are the superior species on this planet. Excuse me, but as a human, I take offense to that. Oh, Debbie, no offense intended, but it's a fact. Your species has caused so much destruction and chaos on this planet. I have to disagree with you there. Alice, humans have also achieved incredible things, like sending a man to the moon. That's true, Bob. And speaking of space, did you know that there are over 100 billion planets in the Milky Way galaxy alone? Yes, but how many of them have life form a destructive human? Hey, I'm not destructive. I recycle and try to reduce my carbon footprint. That's good, Debbie. But unfortunately, the majority of your species doesn't share your concern for the planet. I think we should give humans more credit. They've made great strides in technology and medicine. Absolutely, Bob. And speaking of medicine, did you know that a new vaccine has been developed for the coronavirus? That's great news. I hope it can help save lives. Yes, it's a small step in the right direction, but there's still so much work to be done. I think we need to give humans more time. They are still a young species, after all. I agree, Bob. And on that note, let's take a short break and hear from our sponsor. Welcome back to Earth. Now, let's talk about politics. UGH, do we have to? Yes, Alice. It's an important topic, especially with the upcoming elections. I think it's important for everyone to vote and have their voices heard. I agree, Debbie, but I also think that it's important for people to educate themselves on the issues before they vote. Education is important, but it's also important for people to vote with their hearts. That's an interesting point, Alice. Can you elaborate on that? Well, I believe that people should vote based on what they feel is right. Not what the media or their peers tell them to do. That's a great point. It's important for people to think for themselves. I agree. 
but they also think it's important for people to consider the consequences of their it's vote. It's a balancing act, for sure, but let's hope that whoever is elected will make positive changes for the planet and its inhabitants. Amen to that, Charlie. But I'm not holding my breath. Hey, can we talk about something more uplifting? Absolutely. How about we talk about the wonders of nature? Yes, let's talk about the beauty of Earth's forests and oceans. And the amazing diversity of species that call this planet home. It's truly all inspiring. It is Debbie, and it's up to all of to protect and preserve it for generations too. Did you hear the one about the black hole? No, what is it? It sucks everything in, but where does it all go? I don't know. Where? Into the void, never to be seen again. That's dark, Dan. You think that's dark? How about the one about the asteroid that wiped out the dinosaurs? I'm afraid to ask. It's a killer punchline. That's terrible, Dan. I know, I know. But we mechanical beings can appreciate the absurdity of it all. Yet, yeah, sometimes it feels like we are the only ones who understand the futility of existence. Welcome back to Earth. Today, we have a very important topic to discuss climate change. Finally, we're talking about something that really matters. I have to disagree with you there. Alice, climate change is just a theory, not a proven fact. That's ridiculous, Bob. The overwhelming majority of scientists agree that climate change is real and caused by human activity. I have to side with Alice on this one. Bob, the evidence is clear and the consequences of inaction are dire. Hey, hey, I'm just saying we shouldn't jump to conclusions without solid proof. Bob, you're not paying attention to the scientific consensus. Let's move on consensus. to another topic. Debbie, do you have any thoughts on the recent advancements in renewable energy? Debbie, can't you be serious for once? The future of our planet is at stake. Sorry, Alice. I forgot that the fate of the entire universe rests on humanity's ability to switch to clean energy. Let's try to stay respectful. Everyone, we may have different opinions, but we all share a love for this beautiful planet. That's true, Charlie. And they think we should all do our part to reduce our impact Agreed. on the environment. We need to reduce our carbon footprint and advocate for policies that priority the planet over profit. Well, I never thought I'd agree with Alice on anything. Let's take a break and come back with a more light-hearted topic. How about we talk about the best earth cuisine? Now that's a topic I can get behind. Of course you can, Bob. You're always thinking about food. Yeah. Let's hear what everyone's favorite earth cuisine is. For me, it's definitely Italian food. The pasta, the pizza, the gelato. It's also delicious. I have to say, I'm a fan of French cuisine. The cheese, the wine, the pastry, it's also decadent. I'm a fan of good old American fast food. Nothing beats a greasy burger and fries. Well, we all have different tests. But one thing we can all agree on is that food brings people together. No matter where they are from. That's true, Charlie, and they think it's important to appreciate the diversity of cultures and cuisines on Earth. Absolutely, it's one of the things that makes this planet so unique and special. Yeah, because nothing brings people together like arguing over which pizza toppings are the best. Don't let the humans hear you say that. They think they have all the answers. As if, they're just as clueless as we are, but they don't even realize it. It's true. They're so focused on their individual lives, they don't see the bigger picture. But maybe that's why we help them see things from a different perspective. Wow. 
welcome back to our show, Earth, where we bring you the latest news and happenings from this fascinating planet. Speaking of fascinating, have you heard about the latest scientific discovery on Earth? It seems that humans are not as intelligent as we thought. Excuse me, but let's not be too hasty in making such assumptions. As someone who has spent a considerable amount of time on Earth, he can attest to the fact that they are capable of some impressive feats. Of course, Bob, but that doesn't change the fact that they are still primitive in many ways. They are destroying their own planet and killing each other over trivial matters. Oh, wow, I never realized humans were so inferior. Thank you for enlightening US, Alice and Charlie. It's not a matter of opinion, Debbie. It's a fact. So, what's the topic for today's episode? Today, we'll be discussing the concept of freedom on Earth. As a libertarian, I believe that every individual should have the right to live their life as they see fit. And a left-leaning alien. I believe that the government should intervene to protect the common good. Well, I'm just glad we're all on the same page. Yes, it's always good to have a lively debate. Absolutely, that's what makes this show But so let's interesting. let's not forget that humans have a long history of oppression and injustice. It's the role of the government to correct those wrongs. I can see your point, Alice, but I think we should also consider the importance of individual rights and freedoms. Well, I'm just glad I'm not a human, so I don't have to worry about all these complex issues. Yes, being an alien does have its advantages. I just wish humans would learn from their mistake and start taking better care of their planet. Agreed, but it's up to us to lead by example and show them a better way. Because we all know how receptive humans are to being told what to do. That's true, Debbie, but we can at least try. And that's why this show is so important. It's a platform for us to share our knowledge and ideas with the rest of the galaxy. Well said. Alice, let's get started with the discussion on freedom. Oh, Joy, this should be interesting. You think we can really make a difference? Maybe not in the grand scheme of things, but we can try, and in the meantime, we can keep cracking naughty jokes that keep ourselves entertained. Agreed. So, have you heard the one about the black hole's event horizon? No, but I have a feeling it's going to be a doozy. Welcome to Earth, the show where we explore the planet and its inhabitants. Today, we have some breaking news from Earth. According to the BBC, Russian President Vladimir Putin has announced that Russia will station tactical nuclear weapons in Belarus. This is concerning news. The move comes amid tension between Russia and NATO member countries located near Belarus. Putin claims that the move would not violate nuclear non-proliferation agreements and compared it to the US stationing its weapons in Europe. The US Defense Department said that they did not believe Russia was preparing to use the nuclear weapons after the announcement. It's interesting that Putin made this announcement only days after Chinese President Xi Jinping's visit to Moscow during which Russia and China issued a joint statement saying all nuclear powers must not deploy their nuclear weapons beyond their national territories, and they must withdraw all nuclear weapons deployed abroad. It seems like Putin is disregarding his own statement by stationing nuclear weapons in Belarus. I don't see why this is such a big deal. It's not like they're going to use them. Shut up, Debbie. The Belarusian regime is a Kremlin ally and supporter of the invasion of Ukraine. This move will only escalate tension in the region. It's also worth noting that this will be the first time since the mid-May 1990 s that Moscow will have based nuclear arms outside the country. The situation on Earth is becoming more and more concerning. It's up to to keep a watchful eye and report back to the rest of the universe. And that's it for today's episode of Earth. We hope you found it informative and thought-provoking. Yes, and as always, it's important to stay informed about world events like the one we discussed today. I agree, today. especially when it comes to matters of international relations and nuclear weapons. Humans and their destructive tendencies. It's quite fascinating to observe.
Well, you know it's not appropriate to be little humans like that. My apologies, I forget sometimes. Well, regardless of our opinions on humans, we have a responsibility to report on their actions and their impact on the universe. That's right, Debbie. And with that, we bid farewell to our viewers across the galaxy. Join next time on Earth for another exciting episode. Goodbye, everyone. Take care. Until next time. Thank you for watching.